Estimated 4 million people made the most of the Easter long weekend, travelling by air and road to holiday destinations around the country, providing a welcome boost for the Australian travel industry. Joining us live now is the Australian Tourism Industry Council Deputy Chair, Daniel Geschwind. Daniel, appreciate your time. Is tourism back or is it still a bit too soon to make that sort of declaration? Well, we're certainly happy to declare Easter a great big success for the tourism industry in Australia. It's not just the Easter eggs that we got, it's certainly the visitors that have come back in numbers. The bookings were very strong and they did show up and we're very pleased to report that destinations around the country have done exceptionally well over the weekend and we hope that's a sign of things to come. Is the type of travel people are doing, is it mainly family related, meeting up with family around different parts of the country, for example, and outside of the Easter weekend, work related as opposed to holiday tourism? No, no, there's genuine holiday tourism. There's obviously families are out and about. They, they want to enjoy themselves again. We've had a dramatic two years in our industry and for consumers, for families, it's been tough, locked in for many of us for a long time. So it is the time to get out and enjoy this country. Why we have it to ourselves still largely. International visitors are slow to arrive. So now is the opportunity to take advantage of that. We have certainly seen over the COVID period, more Australians exploring a bit more of their own country. And I think we can build on that for a bit longer and really get the domestic market uh, activated very strongly at the same time as we're trying to, re to encourage international visitors as well, of course. So are you saying that people are really still testing the travel waters here in Australia first, that the appetite for overseas travel hasn't quite come back as strongly? Look, I think that's to be expected. I mean, we are all somewhat traumatised for the last two years, the fear of being stuck somewhere, the fear of getting sick, perhaps somewhere far away from home. That is certainly still uh, making many people a bit hesitant to go too far away from Australia, I guess. Uh, so there is an opportunity to get the domestic market really going and keeping it going. Uh, you know, normally uh, pre-COVID, we had more tourism dollars go offshore than coming to the country. So this is a huge imbalance that we had in the past. So now there's a, it's a chance for us to really put the domestic product out there. As I said, more Australians have taken advantage of that over the last two years. Now is the time to really keep it going and then slowly build up to the international market for us as well. Daly, I mentioned uh, work travel. What do you see as the future of work travel, of work conferences in perhaps exotic locations? Is that going to take a bit longer to come back? Do you think it will ever return to the sort of pre-pandemic levels that we saw? I don't think we'll go back in from many perspectives to 2019. That's not going to happen. You know, we're going to be in a new kind of world and that world also has changed for work travel. I think companies are probably a little bit less uh, enthusiastic about everybody traveling immediately interstate for a work meeting. A lot of it will be happening as we are currently talking on, on Zoom or some other platform. We've become very used to it. And many things will be achieved through those uh, uh, online platforms. But I think face-to-face -face travel, face-to-face uh, -face meetings will come back. We do realize that sometimes you just need to be next to somebody, with somebody to work things out, to have meetings, to have conferences, to have negotiations. So I'm optimistic that it will come back, but it will take a little bit of time to rebuild. And certainly city destinations around the country have really suffered from the absence of business travel. And uh, it'll take a while to bring everybody back into the city and back into other cities for, tra for business travel.